Excuse me. And excuse me for interrupting. Prior, big interruption. You know, I'm not a historian or anything like that. I'm just a Hare Krishna and I'm sitting here chanting my Hare Krishna mantras. <laughs> you can't avoid seeing some foolishness on the uh, on the phone, you know, <laughs> even if it's my own face. Now, what I just, see, I don't really know, and you know that I don't know, but um, my guess and, and it's and it's only my guess is the same people, the same people, the same method that is what's happening in some Israeli thing, you know, that conflict, that, that the same people that are making the conflict made the Holocaust. If one was to look up, there was letters sent back and forth from Hitler and Stalin and, of course, uh, Chur Churchill and, and FDR, and, and they were looking for certain type of Aryans. You know, they wanted to distinguish certain types of Aryans. Now, that's a bloodline that they wanted to eliminate. But for, for any to know who is the guilty one and who isn't the guilty one you would you would have to go and take some blood sample and you'd have to examine the blood of every individual that you're gonna annihilate or you just ask somebody that is the other type of Aryan right Right? That's what I conclude. We may see, you know, one person, he had actually admitted that he was turning in the other Aryans. He uses a different word, but you could say Aryans. He was turning a man, and he is from the other. He was a child, okay, he's a child, but you think he was doing it alone? Come on, you guys. This was a uh, Holocaust. Was it so much uh, not understandable that maybe, perhaps, the same family was trying to kill the same family? <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you examine it, one family still around doing the same thing they did back then, and they were just helping back then. Now they're taking a physical part in the whole thing and, and wiping it. Because, why do I say this? Because of the same family. The head guy, you know, the Abraham, you know, the head guy, he, he has two sons. Or two sons. A one son is declared like the illicit, uh, rejected son by the family that's killing the other family. And then the other family is saying the same thing about the other son. Right? So the Aryans and the Aryans and the Abrahams and the Abrahams, but nobody looks into it. Who helped gather up all those people? And I've heard it mentioned. It was the neighbors, the people who knew who they were. But who knows better? Like if I ask you, who knows this type of Christian better than that type of Christian? The difference between one type of Christian and another type of Christian. Or the Muslims. Oh, one type of Muslim and the other type of Muslim. You go to a Muslim. He's the guy that knows. So the Aryans, as they called them, that they were trying to wipe out, they were found by the other Aryans that are claiming <laughs> that they were part of the... They were... Uh, the victims 
The victims, we were the victims of the Holocaust. I don't really see them as the victims until they can prove it. There must be a way to find out that, for my part, not so much interested, but those that are interested in all those things, I don't think the guys that are acting as they are were the good Aryans. I think they were pretty bad Aryans. But they wanted to annihilate the good Aryans. Let's get rid of these Aryans so that our family can prevail. You know, it's a whole family thing, and you're getting them. You're getting in the middle of a family discussion. This is not a world. You know, we we shouldn't even be in this type of a discussion. Why is the world being pushed into a family discussion? You know? If they want to say that, you know, that your son is the enlisted son and my son is the son disposed of, not even, they don't even recognize their own people. I know. They were told that the eldest son would take over the whole nation, right? They were told. So when the baby's going to be born, he puts his arm out and they put a little rope around it. But then when they take the baby out, they find it's the second one that came out. So, oh, they calculate the oldest one as the one who comes out first. Well, that's not right. Scientifically, the oldest one is the one who went in first, boys, not the one who went in second. <laughs> so not even in their own family do they respect the elder son. They never respected him. Never. They didn't even respect their own son and their own family and their own leader. Didn't even respect him. Always called him the, the second son. No, he was the first son. Because of their foolishness. Oh, well, you know, what a mess, man. I think they're really, you know, diverted. <laughs> I mean, like, they're really diverted. Who are the good Aryans and who are the bad Aryans? In other words, who of my family, my family should be killed and who of the, my family should be the leaders? Uh, oh, well, I, I'm not going to investigate, but from what what I can see, uh, is a mess, and and it's a misleading mess. It's a misleading mess, because they know the truth. They know who conducted the Holocaust. You think a man that's leading a whole military to take over the world and everything, he's conducting a Holocaust? No. They have somebody who is conducting the Holocaust against their own family. And then they use the Holocaust as the way to squirm out money from everybody. Right. Well, anyways, it's a, it's a good gimmick. It's, it's better than the, uh, what is it, the, uh, uh, the, the end of the month uh, sales or the end of the year or going bankruptcy sales or anything like that, at least it's a, you know, a better gimmick, because they get more money, and they get more trust from people, oh, feel sorry for us, because we were the victim, no, I'm not going to agree with that, <laughs> from my point of view, I see you as the ones who helped the Holocaust, and others were the victims, 
and the, the number of people is like 